profile thinks uh, it's slightly odd and there's some funny creases happening. Once she's in there, you can get the rocking going. And she usually likes that before she starts crying. How's that? We decided to look at the cot, seeing that it hasn't had any development uh, other than aesthetic uh, styling. It's essentially a box with a mattress in it. Um, and we looked at building in the temperature control features, raising features, rocking features, just to add to its functionality. The cooling starts uh, down here. This is the TEC, thermoelectric cooler. This is the kind of cooling device that's used in um, portable cool boxes and mini fridges and things like that. This is what cools the air. The air then gets drawn by fans along ducts in the body in both directions, it then runs up the side panels and then they are delivered to the to the sleeping space where the baby is through these grills here. Um, and then they will get drawn down the side of the mattress, back below the mattress through these grills and back to the the TEC. And working with this Siemens technology which can link um, home products such as central heating, um, hi-fis, televisions, uh, and using that sort of software We've developed it to link with our cot. But they can also operate things like the rocking remotely. Baby baby, it's been constant baby stuff. Um, so yeah, we have got quite an in-depth. Because we haven't had kids ourselves, we don't know about cots before this. We had to get real up to speed on all aspects of babies and colic and conditions and, and cot death. So yeah, it's been an interesting time. Yeah. <laughs>